Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. In this video, we want to determine resistor color code when we're given the actual resistance and tolerance values. So kind of going backwards from the previous videos, but the example would be something like this. You're given a resistance value of 760 ohms plus or minus 5%, and you want to identify what are all the colors of the bands and in which order. That might involve actually drawing them on a resistor or just writing out what is the first band, second band, third band, and fourth band. So uh, we can work backwards from what we already know. Uh, we know that the first band is going to represent the first digit. So our first digit is seven. So I'd pop into here and look where is seven and I'd say, okay, that is a violet color. So we can go and draw that guy on. Uh, our second digit here is six. So we're gonna look and see where is six in our digits. And we're gonna see six corresponds to blue. So we can pop in a blue color band for the second guy. Now for the multiplier, we just have to think about this for a second. We know that our actual resistance is 760 ohms and our first two digits are 76. So if you have 76, then what do you have to multiply 76 by to get 760? Well, it's going to be times 10 or times 10 to the one for that matter. Uh, so our multiplier, when we look what is times 10 to the one, that the multiplier is brown. So we can drop that in for our third color band. And then our tolerance is plus or minus 5%. So when we look in here, where do we find plus or minus 5%? Well, that is going to be gold. So we can draw that in as our fourth color band. And here we go. Now we have a fully labeled resistor based on the actual resistance value and tolerance that we were given. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's do another example. And in this case, we have 350 milliamps uh, plus or minus 2%. So the first thing that we need to do is take a look at what is our first digit. Well, that would be a three. So we pop over to here and see what is the color that corresponds to a digit of three? It's orange. So we can draw our first color band on as orange. All right, our second digit here is a five. So we're gonna see what color relates to five and that's going to be green. So we can go and draw on our second color band as the color green. So let's think about what 350 milliohms is. So that is 0 0.35 ohms. And right now we know that our two digits are three and five. So what do we have to multiply 35 by to get 0 0.35? Well, that would be times 10 to the minus two. That would bring our decimal place two places over to the left. And where we look for a multiplier of 10 to the minus two in the table, we're gonna see it's right here labeled the silver color. So we can draw on silver. If this looks gray on your screen, um, YouTube is maybe just changing the colors on me, but uh, the idea that I've drawn a silver line here. And then for our tolerance, we've got 2% here. So we come in and look for where's 2% and that would be right here. And the color that corresponds to that is red. So we can go and draw on red as our final color band for this 350 milliohm resistor with a plus or minus 2% tolerance. All right, so hopefully that's pretty straightforward. Let's do another example with 44 ohms plus or minus 10%. So our first digit and our second digit are both fours. So when we come into our table looking for where is four, we can see that is going to be yellow. So we can draw on our first band as a yellow band and actually our second band as well as yellow. Okay, now for our multiplier, let's think about what we have right now. We know we have two digits four and four, so we've got 44. What do we have to multiply 44 by to get 44? It's kind of a trick question. We just have to multiply this by 10 to the zero, which is basically multiplying it by one, so it's not going to change. So when we look for 10 to the zero in our table, we're gonna see it up here, and it's going to be a black line to indicate that multiplier. So we can go and draw that on as our third band. And then for tolerance, we have plus or minus 10%. So when we look in here for tolerance, that's 10%, that's going to be the silver color. And again, hopefully this silver shows up properly on your screen. It's kind of hit or miss um, with these colors. If you're writing this on an exam or if you were drawing it with crayons, you pretty much just write usually uh, like the word silver. Uh, if, there's, if there's any doubt about it, just write what the word is as well if you're having troubles indicating the color. All right, let's just do one last example then. So we got 18 kilo ohms plus or minus 20%. Well, our first digit is going to be one. So that's going to be brown, and our second digit is going to be gray. So we can draw on the first brown color band, 
And then a second one for gray. If my grays look suspiciously similar to silvers, uh, I'm sorry. And let's think about what we have here for a second. We know we are looking for a value of 18 kilo ohms. So that's 18,000 ohms. We know our first two digits are 18. So what do we have to multiply 18 by to get 18,000? Well, that's times 10 to the power of three. So when we look in our table here for times 10 to the power of three, we're gonna see it right here. It's going to be orange. That is the number that we're going to have to use to designate that color band. So we can go and draw that on for our third band. And then when we're looking for our fourth band, plus or minus 20%, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna see 20%, and we're gonna see that there's no color. So actually, we're not going to put any color here, and by not putting anything there, that's going to indicate that that is 20%. So hopefully that all makes sense. Now you should be able to look at the color codes and generate what the actual resistance and tolerance is, or be given the resistance and tolerance and generate what the color code should be as well.